is awkward, but we move. Banda on the beat. dresses for you guys and it's going to be a bit more feminine dresses not like my usual outfits i will actually be wearing heels and purses with them this time this is one of the pieces i'm super excited to go over it and just give you guys my review on how i like these dresses the fit and everything so stay tuned All right, you guys, so for this first piece, it's called Contrast Corset Detail Shirt Dress. And I think it's absolutely stunning. This is probably my favorite piece from the haul, so that's why I put it on first. You can see the little pleat details in the dress. It has this corset that sucks you in really nice. I'm wearing a size four, which is pretty true to size, so I was happy about the way this fits. Holds the girls up. You know what I always say about the girls with more boobs. They always look better in stuff that has, like, cleavage, that exaggerates cleavage here i think it comes down pretty nicely i'm a tall girl so that could be why it's a little short here has a little room but if you're wearing accessories which i usually like to wear watches a lot so it'll look perfect for that i'm gonna do a little spin in a second but i paired it up with my yellow tail bar bag and some heels that i got from ego official these white heels very very cute this is what it looks like from the side from the back and the other side I think this dress is absolutely stunning it fits really comfy it's very breathable it's perfect for the summer I don't know about this season right now but you can wear them whenever you want honestly Okay, so here's a second piece. It's called Double Layer Premium Rib Mini Dress, also from Boohoo. This one is like a pure white. When I pulled it off the back, I was like, is this baby blue? But when you put it on, I guess up against my dark skin tone, it comes out really like pure, clean white. I think this dress is very pretty. One thing I did notice is like these sleeves are pretty short. So here is it, like lengthwise. Again, I'm a tall girl, five seven. I'm really long, and all my appendages are very long. But it was pretty short to me. So what I do, roll it up, even out the little scrunches as much as possible, and that way it doesn't look like tacky or short, too short for you. I put on my watch because I don't know why it wasn't on. And the first piece paired it up with like the ox blood, I believe, tail far purse, and then these heels that my mom gave me. I can't remember where she got these from, but I thought they were cute. She said they were too high for her, so I was like, yeah, no, don't mind if I do, okay? But this dress is super cute. I love the little mermaid cups here, the long string for added detail, some cutout for you to give the girl. So this one isn't as feminine, but I see that it goes past the knees. So it's still keeping it pretty classy, okay? Sexy classy. Um, I'm gonna do a spin for you. This is it from the side. This is the dress from the back. And this is a dress from the other side as well. So what do you think about this dress? Like, where would you wear this? Because it is long sleeve, it's ribbed, so it's pretty thick, it's warm. I love that about it, I love a warm dress. I really like this heel and the purse combo. And just the fact that I'm actually pairing up the outfits and styling them just a bit for you guys this time, since I haven't did that in my last try on haul, and I want you guys to see my style a bit. So I hope you guys like this piece. Really wanna see what y'all think about it. This is the third piece, ooh, ooh, ooh. and it's called Tall Split Sleeve Woven Blazer Dress. So what I was trying to go with this outfit and do not mind this area because it's just not giving what I need to give. It's not long enough, so I need to order a bigger size. I have this in a four. I just ordered a six because I need it to be a little bit longer because this, I have to wear like black underwear with it. Just use your imagination a bit. But this is trying to get like Solange wedding, give it a little Beyonce. Beyonce, sweetie, I'm so excited. 
so sorry. Okay, not Beyonce, but it's supposed to be given a little bit, okay? I thought this was super cute because the sleeves do this little slit. So boom. It's supposed to be an ivory. It's supposed to be tall, girl friendly, so you can show off those legs. Now I paired up with some fishnets from Amazon. These shoes are from Miss Lola. This is for my birthday last, last year. I'm forgetting it's 2022. And so it was my birthday in 2020. Of course, I paired up with another so far bag, the sage one. Honestly, I'm just trying to show off my so far collection. I only have three so far bags, but I was like, let me show them off this collection because they just add that cute little pop of color to your outfit, especially if it's like something kind of black and white and neutral like this one. What do you think about this dress? Like, is it a look or is it not a look? Would you wear this? Is it out of your comfort zone? I want to hear something. Would you pair it with this, this look, or would you style it a different way? I really love to know your comments and want to see just your thoughts on this dress. I think it's gorgeous and I love the way that I styled it. So I just want to do a spin for you guys so you can kind of see how it fits around. I did have to tie this buckle like very tight and flip it on in the back so maybe you can see it that way but it's super cute and it comes with two buttons as well. grow up and get me some more like feminine clothes and cute things i will be selling this dress to someone or i might just give it away or if you're a size four tell me in the comments so i can send this to you i might just have to try you shipping or something and this is the fourth dress this one is called tall dobby sleeve tie neck bodycon dress I think this would be my top two, I'm not gonna lie. I think this dress is so classy and feminine. You go Kiko wear this to church. Could you wear this to church? I don't go to church, y'all, I'm sorry. I don't. I paired this up with, I believe these are from Ego Official. This dress is actually in ivory. I paired it up with my purse from Mamiya Devois. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but I'm assuming that it is, but it is a black owned company. You know I always try to tie in black owned companies into almost everything I do. I love supporting black businesses. This purse is a staple. We have these breathable sleeves that are actually long enough for the tall bra. I don't know if you can see. I'm happy about that. It actually ties up on the top. Y'all know I do not like when you have necklaces on with things that tie up near the neck. But this necklace is extremely difficult to put on, so I'm not taking it off because I'm not about to struggle again to put it back on. This dress ties up in the back, so when I do a spin, you can actually see how it ties up. But I think this dress is chef's kiss. It's really just giving the girl. So let me do this spin for you. One time for the dress. I did not put a bow in it, just left it tied because I didn't feel like doing that. I just like that snatching me in a little bit. And this is it from the side. As you can tell, I'm feeling myself in this dress. I'm not gonna lie. I'm feeling myself because this dress is so classy and girly, feminine. And that's the thing with this trying on. This is the fifth dress of the trying haul for the white pieces. I don't think this fits into the feminine category. This is more club wear, baby, but of course I had to throw in a club piece for white because I, I don't have that many white dresses to club in. First of all, I'm scared. Why is this coming on on the TV? I, you see I'm on here, no remotes. That's weird. But shout out to Chanel and Duke. <laughs> okay, so this is called the Teat Halter Neck Rouge Slinky Mini Dress. Why is that such a tongue twister? Why is that title so long? Boo, we have to have some words. But I forgot to actually mention it as well. I am not home. And of course, you guys probably noticed that this is not my typical background. I'm actually in an Airbnb in Dallas. The Dallas vlog should be coming soon. But back to the dress, okay? So it gives you the boobies it gives you a nice cut out here you can tie it up 
I know I should not have my necklace on with this, but y'all know my thing. It has the back out, but it's very short. When they say petite, they meant that. So of course I paired it up with some thigh high boots. I believe these are from Lola Chutique before Miss Lola became Miss Lola, baby, because I've had these for some years. Paired up with the Manet de Bois bag. I love the pink details on this heel. Let's give you a spin for this dress. My only complaint for this dress is this tie up part because it comes with this little thing. So when you're tying it up, it can go, go anywhere. It could go anywhere with y'all. It's like, what's going on? It's called a drawstring shirt dress. It is, I would say it's a little shout. It's a little short, but it's nice length in the back. I love where, where the buttons fall on this dress. It gives you a drawstring, oh, a drawstring here so you can tighten it as much as you want. You put it up this way, then you tie it up in the back, or you can tie it up in the front, whichever way you want to do it, or you can leave it hanging, honestly. It's all about your preference. I love the red heels that I paired up with this. I think I got these heels from Gabriel Brothers in Ohio. Of course, this bag, if you know, you know from Pretty Little Thing. Okay, I was in a dilemma because I was like, do I pair this up with this brown bag or the red or ox blood tail part bag? I'm with this. I'm actually gonna go get the tail part bag so you guys can give me feedback on which one would you wear with this outfit. So here's with the red tail part bag. Like, would you wear it with this? Or would you wear it with this? Another bonus dress, I think this one is so cute, is from Wave. I love the way it fits. I actually have a dress very similar to this in yellow from Fashion Nova that I got for graduation in 2019 from college. I did go to OSU. Shout out to the Ohio State University. I paired it up again with the Mania de Bois bag. I put the chain that I was speaking about earlier back on because it looked compliment, it complements the outfit. I put these shoes on from Ego Official. Fun fact, I try not to wear these heels. They are super uncomfortable to walk in and my feet are always slipping. I hate that. I love these shoes so much because they're so pretty. Maybe I need to get like a little kind of foot stoppers and the sticky that you put in the shoe because they're extremely hard to walk in. So I don't wear them often. I've already worn this dress as well. My first date in Dallas when I was kicking it. Okay, I might insert a few clips just to give a little sneak peek or you might have already seen the Dallas vlog and that comes out prior to this. But I think this is a very cute outfit. And another bonus dress for you guys. It's called Young, Wild, and Hot. Mini dress for my outfit online in the color yellow. In a small, of course. Lord, this is my favorite color. I know people seem to think my favorite color is like green for some reason. My favorite color is yellow, baby. Favorite, 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 favorite color ever. And as you can see, this is why. Look at this pale yellow. I don't have anything this color. This color is so freaking pretty. This pale yellow, baby yellow, Easter yellow, whatever you want to call it, looks amazing on me. Paired it up again with the Miss Lola boots, thigh highs, and the Manea de Bois bag. I took the chain off so it could just be gray, gray, yellow. But I'm going to do my spin for you guys. But this dress is entirely too short. I love it, but this is suit. When they say mini dress, they give it mini bands. <laughs> Why is this so short? But that's because I'm super tall. So this is on somebody who had like more average height, like what, five, five and below. Then it probably would fit a little longer, but this is super short on me. So I had to throw this on some thigh highs because I would be uncomfortable wearing it with anything that's shorter. I look amazing in this. I look amazing in this dress. I love, 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 love it. This will be the last dress of my try-on haul. Thank you so much for continuing to support me for the people who are returning subscribers. Thank you for joining me if you're a new watcher or 
a new subby, a new subscriber, because you're going to subscribe, I know you are. So please like and comment. I really appreciate and love all of you guys. And I'm so happy for getting to 300 subscribers. So the next goal is 400 and hopefully a thousand by the end of 2022. I hope you enjoyed these pieces and thank you so much for tuning in. Bye. Premium red mini dress.